as much as we're having this dialogue, yes. I, I, I want anybody out there who is seeking success or aspiring to become their own boss, you can conversate all day long with others. Mm -hmm. But the conversation that matters the most is the one that you have with yourself. Yes. Just you, the four yeah. walls, and the dark. And yeah, you got <laughs> go, go ahead, Pete. You have to be real with yourself. Most people are not real with themselves. You have social media now, so everybody. So I tell people all the time, you can fool everybody else, but you a fool when you try to fool yourself. So be realistic with yourself. Know where you at. Know your value. Know. And you gotta know your value, and you also have to because it's it's gonna be. Well, the, you have to know. Let me tell you something. Right. You have to know who you're not to know who you are. That like, is such a big. That's the most that's important a thing. Thing. That's the most important thing because, like, for me, people say, "Well, P, you change." I say, "Yeah." Who are you? I'm not a gangster. I'm not a street guy. I'm an entertainer. And the only reason I know that, because I know who I'm not. There you go. I don't have nothing to prove to you. I don't need to be the hardest guy in the world. Like, that is not me. So if you're looking for that, you're not going to find that with me. Now, I am a guy that's a stand-up guy. I live an eye for eye. But I'm not who you think I am. And I know that. I don't, I'm not, I don't need to be the realest guy in the world. All the real dudes are dead or in prison. Let's get that straight. I'm a free man. I'm doing righteous. I'm taking care of my kids. I'm a father. I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm an entertainer. And I'm a philanthropist. I know that. But I'm not a street guy. I know that. I'm not the toughest guy in the world. That's why you got to know who you're not. I done stood up to many bullets. But I'm not somebody that has to be the realest person in the world for you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going backwards because I know that I'm going forward and I'm not looking back. I educated myself. I put my trust and faith in God. I live for my family. I live to better myself. I changed my mindset. I broke so many negative stereotypes that people place on us, people that look like us, even in the business world. When I could walk into a corporate America meeting and tell some corporate white guys who I'm not. So let's get that in your head right now. Yeah, you done seen the movies, you done seen the records, you done heard the records, but let me show you who I'm not. Yes, I come from that in the past, but let me show you how I've grown and evolved as a man. And I'm not afraid to change. Just like you. Show me your past. I could tell any white guy in corporate America, you didn't live a perfect life because nobody is perfect unless you Jesus. So you done been through things too. So you understand that. But I'm going to tell you who I'm not so you can know who, who I am. And that's the only way. But if you live in this fake make-believe world for these people, and even for social media or whatever, you're never gonna be successful because you live in to prove something to people who, think about it, I need to prove how successful I am for somebody on the blog talking about me that has nothing. Why? I don't have to. I just need to keep doing what I gotta do to get better. And how you kill a hate, you kill it with success. Maybe they don't see it right now, but guess what? You keep going. They will see it in the end. So anybody that's out there, don't be afraid if you come from a troubled path, but don't let that take you into your future. Uh, I had Johnny Cochran's, and Johnny Cochran's told me, he said, P, I love what you're doing with your life. People do are not gonna stereotype you for your family and your friends. You know why? You have to be the best you could be. People are not stereotyping me for my brother. My brother's a crackhead. I'm one of the top lawyers in the world. Mm -hmm. When I looked at that, I, it hit me. I'm like, that's crazy. We all dealing with something. But you have to be the best you you could be. 
if you want to be successful, you want to be different. If you know who God is, you got to do the right thing. You can't worry about what your family members or friends are doing. You're not twins, you know. You're not going to die together. You, you know, so you're going to be accountable for your own sins and your own problems. And so even as a business person, when you get into this business world and being an entrepreneur, you got to know that this is all temporary success. So it's what you do with what you have. That's going to determine your character and what type of person you are. And I think that even when everybody else against you, like, like God said in the Bible, uh, he'll take what people use for evil and turn it into good. So even me growing up in the projects and never having nothing had to deal with everything I had to deal with. Now, the man who I am, God used that to where now my testimony is so strong that I could help save other people that come from that, that want to be saved. You can't save everybody. They have to want it. They have to want to say, your testimony is real. Because some people are going to go do their own thing anyway. I don't care whether it's family members, friends, or whatever. Some people can look at your testimony and say, man, I'm going to do it like Pete did it. He looked forward and kept going. Now, the ones who want to go backwards, they got to deal with whatever in going backwards. The man that's going forward, he's got to deal with the new chapter of his life to where now we going forward we can help we can teach we can give the blueprint this is how we made it because we know one thing we can't take it with us so i want to my life is like a sponge and i want to give that blueprint to the next generation that want it that wants success seeking success that's hungry for it, hungry for knowledge that's what my life is about now. You, 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 you're touching on a, a couple of points I want to zone in on. When, yeah. when you finally did it, you hit yeah. it out the park all the way. Yeah. You put out 23 albums in one yeah. year. I don't know if there has ever been an independent record label before you or after you yeah. that was able to put that many su successful projects out. But the point mm -hmm. I'm getting to is you did it your way. And you keep on talking about it's temporary. Yeah. What I'd like for you to speak to, because we, we, we see companies like Kodak, you know, mm -hmm. they, 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 they used to make film for cameras, but everything went digital. MySpace yeah. was the biggest thing in the world. Black Planet. Some of these things that you thought would never go away, yeah. they came yeah. and they left. How yeah. important is it that once you hit your stride, you stay laser focused and you take advantage of that moment and just yeah. having the understanding that this will not last forever? I don't care who you are, if you Michael Jackson or whatever. Michael Jackson was the biggest artist in the world. And all of a sudden, you come down. And I realized that in the music band, I sold 100 million records, but I realized it wasn't going to last forever. Everybody has a season when it comes to being a star, uh, when it comes to entertainment. And that's why I say product outlasts talent. And that's what I was building. I used the hype of my success in the entertainment world to go and create other brands and business, clothing, shoes, food, real estate. Because I realized coming from New Orleans, when a hurricane come, you got to start over again. And so I diversified my portfolio. Some people tell you, no, be great at one thing. Nah, you be great at one thing, you're going to be broke. That's, that's, I, I want to chime in there. I want to chime in there, Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody will tell you, yeah. lock in on one thing. Yeah. You know, diversify once you have that one thing mastered. It is yeah. made. When should people diversify? Because, so, go ahead. So, let me tell you when you should diversify, right? When you know that you're successful at that one thing and you, you done broke the mold now, you're there. You got to realize like we talked about earlier, 
you're not going to be there. What, once you get to the top, what happens? You start crumbling down. That's just anything. Go look at IBM, all these great companies that you thought, like you say, Kodak. Times have changed. Uh, even in the music business, it went digital. So a lot of record companies had to regroup. They had to uh, join forces together just to stay alive. Movie companies now with everything that's going on with, with COVID. So think about this. Even athletes, they tell you, if you're an athlete, just be the best athlete you could be. But why a lot of those big white athletes have all these other different companies? Because they realize they're not going to be able to play forever. But they program us to think that we're going to play forever. And that's not true. So while you have your moment, then you get into these other things. You go, if you're an athlete, you can start creating your own clothing, your own brands, your own products. Because you know why you hot. Imagine if you do that while you hot. Now look at the different revenues, resources that you have created. That's probably going to make more money than you're making on the court now. Because you're so hot. Imagine at one time Kobe Bryant could have did anything to make money off the court with product because he was so valuable to the world. Even looking at his debt, how people moaned and people couldn't go on. This is how important this guy was to our culture and even other cultures from China to Europe, to all these different places. Imagine if he had his own product at the time when he first was in the league. These brands would have outlived him. That's what I'm saying. And we don't see that. We wait till it's done. Then we try to create something. You got to create the hype while you're hot. So that's why I said diversify your portfolio. When you're hot, that's the time to hit with other avenues. Even if you look at the Kardashians, you look at Kylie Jenner, they, these, these people built brands. Soon as people start locking into them on TV, they built billion dollar brands. Why we can't do that? Why we wait till it's too late? We don't know our power until it's gone. And now you're trying to do it. It's, I mean, just imagine a lot of these athletes and entertainers, why they hot the products that they could put into the Walmarts and all these different stores. So that's what I'm looking at as us being able to. So they teach us how to go get the check. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about how to keep the check sustainability. Even when your time up, look at George Foreman. George Foreman built the grill. He probably made more money off the grill than he made boxing. Yeah, he absolutely did. And he diversified his portfolio. Correct. He didn't just look at it. He said, man, look, I got a fan base now. I'm a boxer. Let me see what else I could get into. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.